My name is Sean Burke. I'm 61 years old and my sport is triathlons, sprint and Olympic distance is my specialty. Um, I have won 60 of my last 64 races and I've been taking a CF for 10 years. Uh, my name is Dexter Yates. I'm 75 years old. I am an Ironman athlete. In uh, 2018, I traveled to the World Championship Half Ironman race in South Africa and I won my age group becoming a world champion athlete. Uh, I have been taking ASEA since 2015. Hi everyone, my name is Bria Larson. I am 28 years old, I'm an Olympic US gold medal swimmer and I've been taking ASEA since 2009. Hello, my name is Michael DiDonato. I'm 49 years old. I've been taking ASEA since 2016. My sports are, uh, I've competed in half Ironmans, half marathons. Uh, Olympic distance triathlons. Uh, the thing with my sport is I do it with my partner, my buddy Kyle Broder. I push and pull him in a special wheelchair that we built for him. Hello, everyone. My name is Miles Marshall. I'm a 23 year old. Uh, my sport's track and field. I'm 2014 youth champion, uh, youth Olympic champion, as well as a 2014 uh, world junior member. I've been using ASEA for about one year now. Hey, everybody. I'm Jesse Coleman. I am 24 years old. I'm a former Division I athlete where I played ice hockey. Um, I am currently a CrossFit athlete now, and I was a strength and conditioning All-American in 2019. I've been on ASEA since 2019. Hi, everybody. My name is Cody Miller. I'm 29 years old. I'm an Olympic gold medalist and bronze medalist in swimming. I'm teammates with Bria. Um, and I started taking ASEA in 2012. Hi everyone, my name is Kendra Chambers. I'm 30 years old. I run track and field in the 800 and 400 meters for Team USA and Lazelle. I represented Team USA on three different world teams and I'm a semifinalist in the 2016 Olympic trials. I've been using ASEA since 2016. Uh, my name is uh, Billy Richards, I'm 39 years old. Um, I'm noted for being an ultra runner, but I do a little bit of everything. I've done everything from uh, CrossFit to uh, powerlifting to Spartan races to ultra marathons. Um, I'm most noted for um, in 2019, I finished uh, 37 100 mile races in, uh, in a 12 month time frame. And um, I've been taking ACA for roughly two years. We were asking, how has ACA impacted your overall performance and recovery as an athlete? Okay, recovery has been amazing for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I, being an Ironman athlete, need to work out um, five or six days a week. And uh, getting up the next day after riding 100 miles was a challenge for me. Uh, being on a SIA, I can get up the next day and I'm ready to go to the pool and do a 4,000 yard swim and go for a run and do whatever needs to be done on that following day. Before, I used to have to take a day or two off after every workout and the recovery has been just astonishing for me. With the ASEA, since I've been taking the ASEA, um, my, my recovery definitely um, has improved and uh, the way I train, I do high interval trainings, so I'll go hard uh, in, in different bursts and then, and then recover. Uh, and my recovery has, I've been, my time for recovery has reduced significantly since I've been taking the ASEA. So, uh, and, and that goes as well in races. So since being on ASEA in the last 10 years, I have raced 64 races, once, 160 of those races. And I have set multiple age group course records, prior, looking at coming up on 20 of those course records. And um, that was when I was 51. I'm going to be 60. So now that we have going to be able to race next year, I'm really looking forward to racing at 60 years old. Um, there was a point when I first started training and I couldn't even, you know, do a, a two mile jog with the, with the training partners that I had. And now I'm able to handle that jog at a much faster pace. And I actually do it with the two guys that I train with. Um, so it's just been a dramatic increase in my endurance. Um, and I am just completely astonished at how amazing my endurance has gone up. But also, I just 
honestly, I feel better. I feel healthier. I feel like I get up in the morning and I'm able to go to 6 a.m. weights without feeling like groggy from the, the, the workout before. And so really the long-term benefits for me are just more endurance. I can hang with the guys, but I can also recover so quickly in between sets and intervals on the track. Um, actually very similar to Kendra, I would say I do CrossFit. So I have to be good at pretty much everything, um, from sprinting to long distance to swimming to like, you have no idea what's going to show up, um, at some of these competitions. So obviously one of the first things I noticed, um, because I was still taking the product when I was a college athlete, um, it's really demanding schedule because you are full-time student, full-time athlete and it's really hard to make sure that you're eating all these calories um and i would always struggle to eat enough and it was one way to like quickly get some type of fuel in me and i was able to recover so much better and handle those practices where we just skated like crazy um and then coming out of hockey and transitioning into crossfit asia made me feel so much healthier and just overall like like kendra said i just felt so much healthier and just better overall um, I noticed so many improvements in a lot of different things. I would definitely recommend taking it. It's, um, you know, it's helped me out with my recovery. It's made me feel a lot better. Um, I felt, I felt a lot of the health benefits and everything. And, um, you know, it helps uh, keep me going through my workouts. I absolutely love using ASEA during a workout. So if we're on the track and we have three to five minutes rest in between a set, I am just pounding ASEA because I know it's going to help me get <laughs> ready for the next hard interval. Um, so that's definitely happening during the workout. And then, of course, um, after the workout, I'm, I'm refueling, rehydrating with that as well. And the gel is just like my best friend. Um, I have, you know, achy feet. I wear it to like four to five shoes every day almost. So if I have spikes, if I have my long runs, if I have this, there's just so many different shoes. So I put the gel on my feet a lot and my knee as well. So I definitely use that. I don't know, maybe four to five times a day. And it's just an amazing product that I absolutely love. Um, but again, and then as soon as I go to bed, it's just like, that's the last thing I'm, I'm doing is taking another drink of the SIA. So it's an amazing product. So uh, tell us guys, why, why do you have no fear in being tested? when you're drinking a SIA? I believe after being tested randomly, maybe two to three times a month for the last 10 years or so, and never having a negative test, I think shows a lot to me that the, <laughs> the product that I take is clean. Yeah, I, uh, we can't really overstate how important taking supplements that are clean is to us. I mean, we get tested, God, I've been getting tested so many times for the last decade. And it happens, it can happen absolutely anytime. Like people don't understand. We have to update our whereabouts and give USADA and WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, a schedule of where we are basically at all times. So we can get tested at any time. I mean, like two weeks after the last Olympics, my wife and I were in Florida in our Toy Story Disney World hotel room suite. And we got there the first night and the next morning, 6 a.m., someone knocked on my door and I'm like, what is going on right now? And I opened the door and it was a drug tester from WADA to come and drug test me. And I was like, this is insane. And I, I could tell you multiple stories like that, where we just get tested at crazy random times. Just yesterday morning, I got to the pool at 5.30 a.m. And a drug tester rolled into the pool at about 5.45, like three minutes before I was going to dive in the water. And the only thing that I'd had yesterday morning before swimming was a SIA. I had some of my pouch and that was it. And there's no fear at all that we're going to have any kind of problems in terms of what our results are on all those drug tests, because as Bria already very clearly stated, we know what goes into the product. We've been to the facility. It's the only thing that they manufacture. We know that it's safe. We know that it's clean. You can pronounce all of the ingredients on the label. So um, I've never taken a product that I don't trust. And that's why I continue to take a SIA to this uh, day. Why is a SIA different from any other sport drinks that you guys consume really when it comes to performance and recovery, because we all know there's a bazillion of them out there, right? There's all kinds of things that you could be taking. So what sets a SIA apart? What is so different about it? Um, I've been using a SIA now for nine years and it's the longest running product in my, in my cabinet, like, because I've seen results for it with it for years. Um, I'm a sprinter. I swim the hundred meter and the 200 meter occasionally. 
Um, yet on a weekly basis, I swim well over 40 miles. Not now, not all of that is at a sprint effort, but swimming 40 miles a week, you know, you start off the week pretty fresh on Monday. And by the time you get to Friday with, you know, two swim workouts plus weights at the end of the week, you're usually pretty fatigued. And I noticed right out of the gate, the first year that I started taking you see it way back in the day that I was finishing my weeks stronger than I've ever finished before. Um, and that trend has continued. I'm pushing 30 now. And like last week, I went two lifetime in season best times and I was pounding a SIA. So uh, I would say that the reason that it's different from any other sports drink for me is because I've time and time again seen results and I trust the product. Just, you know, from my own personal experiences, um, it's been it's been well received and great. Well, I'm actually been racing as long as Cody's been alive. <laughs> <laughs> so I've I've used a lot of sports drinks in my life, um, a lot of Gatorade, a lot of Camera Gel, and to be honest with you, I can't race on that product, those products anymore. It's too much sugar, too much chemicals in there, and my body just can't react to it. And I think that before I got on a CEO, that was my problem is I had been on those products for so long that it was actually hurting my body than it was, you know, supporting my body. But I can tell you in the last uh, 10 years, the only thing that I've changed is taking a SIA. And I went from, you know, not winning races to winning 60 of the last 64. And I don't, I don't use sports strengths when I'm racing for the sprint and Olympic distance. I just strictly use a SIA and water. That's all I take. And um, it works for me. I have to admit, I do take some salt tablets with the longer races, so I don't cramp I up. But. Understand too that if you are in love with this product, be confident in it. There are going to be naysayers, and let them be naysayers. If they're not getting any of the benefits from the product, that's we want them. Um, I haven't allowed anyone to have me stray away from this product because uh, I love it. I highly recommend trying it. It won't hurt you. In my, what it's done for me is it's only enhanced my very rigid, ritualistic uh, activities that I do, uh, the way I eat, everything, how much water I take in, when I train, um, it's just absolutely enhanced it. So, um, and like Bria said, it's, it's not gonna hurt you. It's a super clean supplement. And um, I tell other athletes, give it a shot, you have, zero to lose and most likely you're going to end up gaining from it like I have. 